instances where Rob is such a strong character happen so frequently that we really need to see LRA start take advantage and expand the time that he is in advantage, not just the damage he gets. Ooh. Yeah, and one of the I feel like one of the biggest parts of this matchup is going to be specifically those plays when somebody's in disadvantage and then they turn it into their own advantage. Because as you said before, LRA Start might go for some riskier, you know, pushes on the, you know, his own advantage state. And that's the sort of thing where if it goes badly, it can absolutely destroy you. Yeah, but still, she's certainly a player known to take her own time a little bit more as that Nair calling out the up smash afterward as this game keeps relatively even. These dashbacks from Dill very, very potent. <laughs> You saw the beginnings of back air right there. Really smart. LRA start using the, these faster aerials to try and interrupt Dill's game plan. At least trying to space out aerials of her own. Imagine grabbing ledge. Rob Mains never did. <laughs> Dill poking above ledge with that up air. And again, Whoa. looking to shoot Gyro, but gets caught by the F-Tilt instead. I, I'm sorry. I, I, when I see the fact that Wolf was there at the ledge, and then LRA start, he had to pull back and let him grab the ledge. It's just this, it's just a terrible implication about what Rob can do. You know what I mean? Like against what other character is Wolf gonna be like, okay, I gotta get away from the ledge. He's getting too close to it. He's getting a little bit too far ahead for Dill's liking. She's starting, Ooh. things are starting to smother as she goes low and finds that up air, but doesn't connect all the way through. LRA starts still sitting very pretty and finding so many grabs in yep. these moments. Grabs in the corner specifically that Dill is maybe playing a little bit too defensive and the claw cuts out her heart and shows it to her. Yeesh. The, the heart of steel or heart of aluminum, I guess Rob is a pretty plastic toy, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it's certainly, it certainly real to Dill as her stock was ripped from her. 140, 150 now, and Rob's not really usually known for a character that struggles to take a stock, but LRA Start is playing so uh, maneuver it heavy, but that up throw will do it. That'll do it. And you know, it's true that, yes, Rob, not typically known for struggling to kill, but the thing is that if you play around Rob's options, you can survive to some really late percents. Uh oh. You know what? Oh. But if you aren't playing properly, then you're gonna get closed out at very early percents. 170 on the first stop, didn't even reach the century mark on the second. I don't even know if he meant like, I don't even know if he got to his mid 40s, dude. Guy was taken before his time. <laughs> 60% of the landing there comes in as Dill's experience really showing here. Cool and calm to the very end. 60% and LRA start is really fiending for the starters. He found it stock one, but the up throw into the gyro up air. That oh. was super clean, not taking the stock as of yet. Down throwing the gyro, looking for... I think he's... Oh, just barely not enough. Dill making the comeback, taking that game one. And I do think that, like, we saw certain truths become evident. And one of those is that Wolf off stage has problems yeah, in just this a matchup. Not, yeah, even, and not even just off stage. After that ledge grab, it was the gyro throw at neutral getup. And since gyro does hit most, if not all, ledge hangs, all Dill had to do was cover, roll, and jump while LRA start kind of got caught in an analysis paralysis. And missing that tech, but it yeah. was a great start for LRA Start. They just need to find ways to keep the ball rolling instead of getting their momentum ripped away from, uh, ripped away from them yeah. as Dill did by exactly this. Whoa. 79. So like not unreasonable, but also wow. <laughs> That's the world we live in. We're like, yeah, he's at 79. He deserved to die. Yeah. Yeah, you know, gaming. This is America. <laughs> uh -oh. oh no, he has no jump. They He's were dead. At He's zero. Dead. Oh no. Back throw gyro. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> I guess. Holy moly. Join the 27 club. Yep. Tired like nothing. That's, that's oh. what I mean, right? Rob, when Rob is good. Rob is really good, and those good situations where Rob is good happen very often, like when your opponent is off stage. 
Or when your opponent is in front of you and you can down tilt them. Yeah, or when uh, you grab them, or if they're in your down tilt range, or in just in raw neutral. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, not getting caught by that, the roto arm there anymore. But I, I do think that it's it's worth noting that after that, the last three stocks that we've had on LR, for, from LRA, this is the sort of thing where a lesser player would crumble. And I do like the fact that LRA Star, right now, it's still you know, playing from behind, but hasn't forgotten what he needs to do in order to not just get blown up. A good parry into a block of their own. Very clean, good stuff from LRA Star, not to just get over his LS, find a parry and try to strike. Oh, that was a really big whiff up smash. But even then, LRA starts not, he's not finding the big punishes. I'm just waiting for one of these two to throw out an up smash on one of these platforms. But will the up throw, uh, or the down throw do it? Great match. That was so good. Uh, yeah, getting the foot school out of it, particularly. Let, him, uh, let LRA get out of that situation basically scot free. Foot still out of shield. It's not just for Mega Man's anymore. No, it's for ev just about everybody. That recovery was brilliant. I wonder if Dill could have kept mashing if it would have hit, but either way, LRA keeps, uh, escapes with their life. Not that down throw is not going to get them anything. Looking for the F tilt, but Dill delaying for so long in a neutral air yet again gets Dill back in advantage. And in the first game, we saw a spot like this as that up throw does take it. We saw a spot like that happen, but the connotation was so completely different. The nature of the game has changed. Oh, and now LRA oh. Start is just finding a way to keep himself in it. 129 on Dill. Normally this is where Wolf is thinking about, oh, I could just get the kill. But the fact that Dill's ahead by so much, just playing evasive in a way that that Sour Saw bot backer is not enough to do it. Look at this, she's just doing fine, doing all right. And Dill's literally skipping phases of the game. LRA Start, some of his consistent kill tools have been trying to find spots at ledge where you get things like up air, or you get things like those down angled F tilts, or you're able to set up for uh, back air spacing with an auto cancel back air. Dill is skipping the ledge part of the game and just returning right to neutral from off stage, whether it be by going high or bypassing the ledge with the double jump and going uh, and being offensive from off stage. Oh, okay, the, the punish game is back. This is something that has been lacking for the past, like, five stocks from LRA start. But now, all of a sudden, you know, two hits converted into 61%. The thing is, how it demands perfection. 105 being put off stage every time you're basically risking death. New Shark coming out, and f though getting caught, uh, getting whipped by the roll away from LRA. Looking to try and close out this stock as yet another jump on from uh, underneath is Dill, but nothing happening because of it. That stall was amazing! You saw that if he had landed normally, that backer would have connected. Oh, going for these really big hits. I think he was hoping for a spot dodge of some kind. LRA start coming alive at the end here. You can have take to the stock wonder, back. That's uh, going to be it, though. Up throw on the platform. Yes. Battlefield's not big enough. That's going to be it. LRA start getting knocked into loser's bracket as uh, Dill moves on in the winner's side of things. To winner's side at top eight even, where they will be going against VV. Oh. As whole. So if you guys liked seeing Bounce before. Bounce is pretty good. That's pretty good. But, <laughs> <laughs> but so is Robin. Just how, about, how Dill all right. managed the game. Like really just didn't go for any. After the first stop, we showed the potency of her setups and the potency of Rob being able to kill with a thought. Mm. The remainder of the game was still managing that lead to a T. Never letting it get too out of hand, never going, never extending too far past her own limits. Just yeah. calm, just taking it step by step and LRA was slowly but surely outpaced. Mm -hmm. I do think at the end there, LRA start, started to put together what he needed to be doing in terms of advantage state. You saw these clever go going specifically for moves to set up tech chases to extend those singular hits into even more damage as with just a little bit of coverage. Uh, but the thing is that by the end of the game, it was just a little bit too, too much difference to be made up right there. Yeah. And like when you're starting at 150, it's sort of like, now I'm, now I'll try. It's like, oh, yeah. not to saying he wasn't trying, but it's <laughs> like the, it, it was just too large of a lead to make up by turning it on yeah. too late. You're not playing against your producer's friend's roommate here. No. You're playing against Dill. <laughs> so 
Well, Shout out to the Smash documentary. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for uh, for listening to us and to enjoying top 24, all four of these winter quarterfinal sets, all four of these top eight qualifiers, as we have the first set of the first two sets of our top eight uh, established as Booty against Gatsby and Vivi Dill coming up for you very shortly. But we're going to be going to a quick ad break. So, don't touch that dial. More Smash action of Xeno 229 is coming your way right after this.